Hello, everyone. How y'all doing? Everybody hanging in? Yes. Okay. My name is Alvina. I'm a member of the Free Alabama Movement, and I'm a healthcare professional. And I want to talk to you all a little bit about how our health, both inside the prison and outside, is affected by the things that are not done the way they should be done in the prison. <laughs> about a month back, I went to visit my loved one in prison, and before we could get in, we were given this piece of paper that we were told we had to sign or we couldn't have our visit. And the paper, I'm going to paraphrase, really said that there was an outbreak of TB and that they were investigating the cause, and the only way we could go in was to release them from liability of anybody who may or may not contract TB on the visit. Well, I kept thinking about this outbreak, this word outbreak, this word outbreak. The actual definition of the word outbreak is a sudden rise in the incidence of a disease, a sudden increase in a number of a harmful organism. So that made me think about why would all of a sudden there be an increase in the number of the disease. Well, some reasons are the prisoners, not the prisoners, our loved ones are not being tested when they first enter these prison systems as they should be. Or when they are tested and they test positive, they're not medicated for six months as they should be. Why? Because the prison system is not about caring or compassion. The prison system is about money for the government, for private industry. It's not about rehabilitation or helping who's inside. So they care not whether you're healthy inside the prison system. If they did, there wouldn't be overcrowding. The prison numbers wouldn't be doubled and tripled. They wouldn't be piling people on top of people. And that reminds me of a few slave ships I know about. They wouldn't be doing that if they cared about our health. So I care about our health, both inside and out. So I'm going to try to give you some information on TB. And you can also go online and search out on Facebook, TB St. Clair, and you can read that same information. And I would, I would ask you to pass that around to the people that you know inside and the people that you know outside. <laughs> there's a such thing as a TB infection, and there's a such thing as the TB disease. When you take a TB test, if it's positive, you can be only infected or you can have the disease. Infection means that you have the bacteria in your body, but it's not what they call active, and you cannot spread it. And it's what they call latent. It just sits in your body. The issue with that is it can become active at any given time, especially for people whose immune system is low, most importantly, people with HIV. <laughs> there is medication for people who are TB infected. TB is totally curable if people are medicated the way they are supposed to be. TB disease means that the bacteria is active and you can spread it very easily. You can spread it through coughing, talking like I'm doing right now. You see the little spittles, if you pay attention, come out of people's mouth when they're talking, singing, coughing, yelling. And what happens is it's called airborne, somebody you breathe it in. So when you're close to somebody, you can breathe in. If, have, if they have been exposed and they have that TB bacteria in their body, you can breathe that in. So one of the things that you can do for that, and some people take offense and some people not, but cover your own mouth. When people cough, cover your mouth. If they don't cover theirs, cover yours. If they cover theirs, cover yours. That's one simple thing as a precaution that you can do for yourself. Some of the signs and symptoms of TB are weight loss, fatigue, you're really tired, loss of appetite, coughing, sometimes coughing up blood. TB, the most common area that it affects is your lungs. So when you go to have a TB test, <coughs> The first thing that should happen if you test positive is that they should send you for an x-ray to check out your lungs. And then they go from there to decide whether you're infected or not. 
there's a small percentage of people in America that are always going to have a positive TB skin test. Once you have a positive TB skin test, you should never take another skin test. Every five years or so, you should get an x-ray just to check because, again, that bacteria can become active at any given time. Uh, let me make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Oh, I just wanted to add one other thing that's connected to Free Alabama Movement but not to the TB because, see, we as humans have a tendency to be more impacted when something affects us. So this is for the people who don't have a loved one in prison and maybe just came to support, you know, when we leave, everything will be copacetic. There are things that go on in that prison that we as taxpayers pay for. You go to work every day, all those little charges that come out of your check, some of those things you pay for having to do with prison. The prisoners don't get to be paid, I'm sorry, the inmates, the humans, our loved ones, don't get to be paid for the work that they do. We pay for the clothes they have to wear. We pay for their toothpaste, toothbrushes, stuff that should be given to them to live, simple things. We pay for that. So the prison system is not only taking advantage of our loved ones, they're taking advantage of us, but yet they're making millions and millions of dollars. Privately, governmentally, the prison system, and we need to do something about this. Free Alabama yes, Movement. Woo! Yeah.